Hey there guys, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard, and in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're not doing a mattress review, comparison, or best list. We're talking about box springs. So what are they, what do they do, and do you need one for your sleeping setup? I'm gonna try to answer all of those questions in today's video, so sit back and relax, and if you happen to enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so before I get into box springs, I do wanna say that all of the beds or box springs that you will see in this video were sent to us completely free so we could test out, review, and tell you guys about them. We haven't received as many box springs, but we have gotten a couple, and we obviously know how they work since we deal with beds all day. So basically, what is a box spring? Well, it's a wooden box covered in cloth. There's usually springs inside, and it's basically supposed to be an extra layer of support for your mattress. Now, box springs are available in all different sizes, twin, full, king, queen, California king. Now, they're commonly used with inner spring mattresses just to provide an extra layer of support, but they can be used with any bed, and they're also supposed to give you a little bit of height if that's something that you're looking for. And, you know, in today's era, there are a lot more different bed frames to choose from, but back in the day, box springs used to be really common. Now, the purpose of a box spring isn't just supposed to help make your mattress a little bit taller or your sleeping surface, but it's also supposed to absorb some movement as well. That's why there are springs in the box spring, thus its name, box spring. A box spring can also provide a more durable, flat sleeping surface. And if you do have nothing else, it should get the bed off the ground so, you know, no, no crazy critters can just crawl right into your bed with you or, or animals or bugs. Or depain the pain train. Or depain the pain train, always. Choo choo, all the choo, choo. Now, though you can go without a box spring, these extra layers of support can help extend your mattress's life and kind of, you know, take less of the wear for your bed. So it is always a good idea to at least consider one. Now, who should get a box spring? And the first group of people would be anyone that has more of a traditional inner spring mattress. These box springs can add more support and durability for those beds. And in getting a box spring, you should help extend the lifetime of your bed in general. Now, the second group of people are anyone who wants to firm up your mattress or your sleeping surface a little bit. Box springs will help prevent sag, and if you don't want your bed, you know, concaving in the middle, or you just don't trust a simple slat wood bed frame, check out a box spring. And the third group of people would be anyone that wants their bed a little bit more elevated or just directly off of the floor. Like I mentioned, you probably don't want your $1,000 mattress sitting directly on the dirty floor, and a box spring can help get you, you know, a little bit of height that you need. Now, who should not get a box spring? And I know we talked a lot about its benefits, but some options of where you maybe wouldn't want a box spring is if you have an all foam bed or an all latex foam bed, you want more of a completely flat sleeping surface to put those beds upon, or maybe your mattress warranty will be voided if you do use one. So some mattress brands basically tell you that you gotta put this on either a flat sleeping surface or some slats or a box spring. So read all of that information to make sure that you're complying with that warranty so you can get the full lifetime of it with your bed. Now, another group of people that would definitely want to avoid a box spring is anyone that wants to use an adjustable bed frame. These have become a lot more popular nowadays. Over here at the Slumberyard, we've tried out many different models. And if you have a box spring on them, they just won't work. It'll probably make a terrible noise and break or something like that, so do not add these two together. Now, if you already have a box spring, but you're getting a new mattress, it might be time to replace that box spring as well. Usually box springs and mattresses have about the same lifespan, so if you're using them in tandem and replacing one, I would suggest replacing both. It's like if you have a car and you're gonna replace one tire, you should probably replace them all, not just that one, or you'll run into issues later down the line. Also, older box springs can get really dirty and you wouldn't wanna combine that with your brand new mattress, so you might as well just get a whole new set. But that was basically the short story when talking about box springs. I hope you guys learned something in this video, like who are they best for and will or will they not work in your sleeping setup. Again, a ton more research about box springs and beds can be done on our YouTube channel. You can always subscribe to The Slumberyard and learn about the newest beds. We're always reviewing them over here. And if you have any more questions about box springs, write them down below in the comments. We'll try to answer them in the next iteration of this video. But for the rest of The Slumberyard team, I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.